Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle and this time we're going to talk about her father Thomas Markle and I'm actually going to call this video the strange case of Mr. Thomas Markle. Why strange? Strange because from the beginning, from the get-go, Thomas Markle has uh, complained that he wasn't able to see his daughter and he has actually criticized the royal family accusing the Queen or maybe Harry of uh, preventing him from seeing his daughter and the reason why he's talking is because he wanted her to contact him so he has been selling his interviews to newspapers and magazines and he has gone as far as giving a letter a private letter she wrote him to the press just to defend himself against the uh, supposedly accusation that she had her friend throw at him so apparently because the friend talked about the letter he wanted to clear his name and he he went ahead and gave that letter to the daily mail so my question is this one because megan detractors spend their time supporting tones marco saying that he's made mistake by uh, staging that uh, picture that he had uh, with the press it's not because of that that she should have cut him off the main issue here is how come a dad who loves his daughter can go to the same newspaper that has been making her life hell, he goes to the same newspaper to talk about her. And when he talks about her, he talk, doesn't talk about her like a father would talk about his daughter. But he talks about how hypocrite she is, how unkind she is. This is something that you don't say to people about your daughter. Everything that you can have, something that you can feel about your daughter, because she is your daughter, has to stay within the boundaries of the family. You don't go out and spread the word about how horrible your, your daughter is. That's not supporting her. And you say you want her to love you, you want her to uh, get in touch with you. I mean, that is so weird and nobody questions that. How come a dad, a father, is able to go and testify again his own daughter. I mean, Thomas Markle is going to testify against Meghan Markle in court. So how can you possibly say that you love your daughter, yet you go to court to testify against her? He has a conception of uh, father and daughter's relationship that's very strange. I had problems with my dad a few times in my lifetime, actually, but he never, never, never went to people and started bad mouthing me. He never did that. And I respect him for that. No matter what I did to him or no matter what I thought he did to me, we never went ahead and start talking to other people about her problems. And also, Mr. Thomas Markle, you can't force someone to love you. You can't force someone to get in touch with you. You can't force someone to call you. So. Meghan Markle stopped talking to you because you were in, in cahoot with her half-sister she barely knows to go to the press and make money on her back. That's why she wasn't talking to you. If you had been patient, if you had been understanding and if you have given them some space, maybe just maybe she would have come back to you and say, hi dad, I'm very sorry that it has gone that far, but I want us to talk and this is how we can repair our relationship. But no, you go to tabloids and start talking that your daughter doesn't want to talk to you. There's a reason she doesn't want to talk to you. Because you talk too much and you talk to the same people that she might possibly hate. Because those people are out there to destroy her, destroy her character. So that's why I'm saying that the case of Mr. Marco, Thomas Marco, is indeed a strange case. I will never see a dad, a normal person, a normal dad, go out talking badly about his daughter because his daughter refused to talk to him. How can you do that to your child? To go and testify against her just because she didn't want to call you? That is so wrong. So this is my comment about Thomas Markle who is trying to capitalize on Meghan Markle and try to testify against her in court in favor of the Daily Mail and other tabloids. And he says that he, he loves her. So he has a strange way of showing his love to her. That's my take. And no matter what the haters say about Meghan Markle, this is not right that a daughter is being attacked by her own father. She never attacked Thomas Markle. She just decided to cut all ties with him, which is what happened to every family. And she is in her own right and she has every right to do so, seeing the way he's been behaving. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment, please. And click on like if you really like the videos and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.